Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you're working with pivot tables and you're getting the following error. This field cannot be placed in the report filter because it contains calculated items. Now the error is caused by the fact that you've got more than one pivot table using the same pivot cache. Now the pivot cache is just a memory version of your data and your pivot table is linked to the pivot cache rather than the visible copy of your data. Now, in one or more of your pivot tables, you've created a calculated item. So, for example, in this pivot table, I've created a calculated item called non-web, non-web sales. And that basically adds up the account holder sales, international sales and store sales to create one item called non-web. Now, by default, if you create a new pivot table from the same data, it will include that calculated item. So for example, if I put customer type down here in rows, you can see I have web and non-web customer types. This calculated item was created when I made this pivot table. So what we have to do is create a brand new cache for this new pivot table. And that new cache will not include this calculated item. So I'm gonna delete this pivot table. So your first step is to click in the cell where you want the new pivot table to appear. And then you need to use this shortcut key, Alt-DP. And that'll open up a legacy pivot table and pivot chart wizard. In the first step, you just click Next. And then in the second step, you need to select your data source. So you start with the column headings. And then I'm going to use Control shift down arrow key to select down to the last consecutive value. Then go to Next. And it will tell you that your new report will use less memory if you base it on your existing report, pivot table one in my example. Now we don't want to use less memory, we want to create a separate cache. So you've got to click no. And then you just click on finish. And now you should better create your pivot table. So if I put product group in rows, revenue in values, and now if I put customer type in filters, I don't get the error because I don't have that calculated item in this pivot cache. So I could, for example, filter the data by store sales. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.